Hi guys, for the ones who are wondering why is Roland not uploading, I'm gonna tell you uh, why I'm not uploading right now. Well, as you can see, I'm not in the Netherlands, I'm in Vietnam. I'm doing a motorcycle trip here, uh, about three weeks. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of episodes because this place is really, really amazing. This is, this is the best motorcycle ride I had ever in my life. So now I'm filming a lot. When I'm back home, I'm gonna stitch this all together in episodes. Uh, so you're gonna see my travel. And also I try to lay the focus on how it is to ride in a country like this. And now I'm here, I'm also gonna do a, a Q and A video because a while ago, I'm sitting in the middle of the jungle and you hear a car. I did a while ago, I did a uh, post for a Q&A video. And so I'm gonna uh, discuss all your questions here. And this video I can make in Vietnam because it's not a lot of work to create a video like this. So I can uh, post something at least. Uh, otherwise I'm not posting for another one. YouTube don't like that. And so what's gonna happen is YouTube will rank me down and I'm gonna shoot this video all for nothing. Let me first tell you something about Vietnam so far. Vietnam is awesome because it has so much friendly people here. That's really insane. And also a lot of bugs. I just got bitten again for the thousandth time. Vietnam has amazing people and the scenery here is just breathtaking. It's insane. It, I will show you some shots uh, in between from what we did so far. We have two rent bikes and uh, the food is incredible good, but also sometimes incredible weird. But hey, you will all see that in the videos. But let's go to the first question of this Q&A video. Mickey is uh, uh, searching for the questions while I take a sip of this coconut note. Mm. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. It's from Lars Random Jensen. I, I don't have my um, glasses for reading, so it's a bit hard. Dear Roland, first of all, thank you for a great channel. I will soon be turning 50, and Midlife Crisis made me look for an ADV motorcycle. Well, I've only been riding a bit of motocross as a youngster, but never owned a larger bike. I love old stuff and the 90s. Africa is what I'm looking for. Also, as I am fairly tall, uh, 1 meter 95, what would be your top recommendations for riders starting late in life and your thoughts about the Africa twin in this context? Once again, thank you Roland. Love your Dutchiness. Greetings from Denmark, Lars. Well, Lars. So you're one meter 95 and I think the old Africa twin from 95 could be a bit on the small side, I guess. I am one meter 83 and this Africa twin is for me not too small, but if I was one meter 95, you are, what was it? One meter. I think that can be a little bit of a small bike. I think you better look at the newer Africa twin and then the Adventure Sports, but it's not a light bike, it's a heavy bike, but it will be good for your length. I think you must just try it and see what suits yourself, but uh, it doesn't matter what your age is, if you're late at a party or not, more important is can you handle the bike. And the Africa Twin is a kind of heavy bike, but as long as you can hold it, I think that's, that's actually a good choice. Next question, Yogurt Pak, yes, <laughs> Yogurt Pak. How are you doing? Says. Well, uh, when do you start off-roading and do you have any experience with it? Well, we didn't do off-roading uh, until now. The plan was we, we would do that with the Africa Twin and just didn't uh, happen uh, until now. I have experience with it, yes. I did uh, some, uh, well, semi-professional motocross when I was 16 till 21, I guess. I was riding a motocross. But uh, that's a long time ago, so I completely forgot about that. And these bikes we ride are totally different than the bike I had back then. It was a 120cc Honda. So, nah, I don't, uh, I don't think I, I can remember that or even uh, have the skills uh, for that. Uh. But we did some off-road here in uh, Vietnam, uh, because there is no other way sometimes, or sometimes there's just no road. But yeah, I hope to do a lot more. But uh, it's difficult. It's 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 more difficult with heavy bikes than I thought it would be. Now, yeah, well, learning, practicing, and uh, falling, and then uh, I will be fine. Next question. I get a my arm is getting. A, I'm very sweaty, by the way. If you notice, this is not a shiny shirt. This is just soaking wet because we were just uh, doing uh, a cave thing. What do you say? A cave, uh, a cave hike. That's incredible hot. It's so incredible hot here. My festa says, Are we gonna see you in one of the motor vloggers meet in the Netherlands this year? I don't, I, I don't even know there is a motor vlogger meet in the Netherlands. But yeah, 
seems to be. So yeah, hook me up with it. <laughs> Just type in the comments wherever it is, when it is, and uh, I will show up there. Sounds like fun. The Abyss says, When's your motorcycle tour company starting? And do I get a big discount? Yes, of course you get a big discount. The problem is my website. I'm still struggling with the website and it's still not finished. And I can only start this business when my website is finished, you know. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen this year because I had a lot of time for other stuff. In the old days I used to build websites even for companies and now I have to, I'm so struggling on this website I could not even get the header straight. And it takes a lot of time and mostly a lot of energy and so I just put it a bit aside. I will finish it, the website, and I will do my travel companies. But if it's this year or next year, I, I think it's gonna be next year, not this year. But I hope this year, because it's fun to do. Paul said... Hi Roland, I hope you're making a tons of money. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> this YouTube thing I do for you guys, uh, if you think I'm gonna be rich of it, or it even gives money, no, it only costs money. But, uh, but hey, you can support me, by the way, if you want to. There's an animal on my back. You can support me hitting a PayPal link or buy me a beer link. It will be awesome because this is all very expensive, by the way. So, uh, hi, Paul. I'm not making a lot of money. You do grease me up sometimes. Anyway, a comment on two of your movies. What not to take on a bike trip? Soap is a pain in the ass. A small shower gel is easy and less money. And who needs a cooker? Try looking at Hexi Burner. They are super compact, really cheap, and heat your favorite coffee really quick. I've used for years and was good for the British Army maneuvers. The main thing you forgot, tents. I like camping, but if you use a hotel, you get rid of a major item then. Continue blocking and ride safe. Somebody put an answer also that it... Oh, that was me. But there's not really a question in this one. Um, but more tips. But yeah, if you not go motor camping, yeah, then you lose basically 70% of your luggage so I know that but yeah that's when you go motor camping you go motor camping it's a choice so it's not like if you want to lose weight on the motorcycle then yeah booking a hotel is by far the best option my festo again he says more seriously what was your worst ever helmet oh man I I, I have pretty cheap helmets I have now the ADX uh, Scorpion ADX1 and it's not a good helm for wind protection also, but I like it. I never had a Schubert or that kind of uh, helmet. So all my helms were pretty crappy, I guess, but they're fine, they're fine. So I, I don't have any worst helmet. The worst helmet I had was, of course, I the one I, I took the wrong size, too small. And then it's here pressing on your head and you get headache. Uh, but no, for the rest, all helmets are pretty good, I think. Next question, Bogus Mylene, uh, uh, if I spell your name wrong, I'm sorry about it because I, I cannot I cannot read it because it's all small letters. Says, Roland, how come we don't get to see much videos of Mickey? Well, basically because Mickey is not a YouTuber. <laughs> but you're gonna see a lot of Mickey because I'm doing this adventure in Vietnam with Mickey. So yeah, she's gonna be in every episode. Problem solved, right? Last question, the Abyss. When are you going to make a Blackbird video? Yeah, he asked that many times. And I know, it is still on the to-do list. I still need to make a video about the blackbird, but uh, yeah, until now, uh, didn't happen. But uh, it will be there soon, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, this was it. Uh, my, my arm is now feeling like there's an elephant hanging on it. We're going uh, further on to find shoes, yeah. Well, you see in the story why, in the, in the videos why. And uh, I hope you like this upload. If you uh, did not subscribe yet, then yes, subscribe. And here, hit that bell thing. So you're not gonna miss out this 22 episodes of Vietnam. And trust me, they are really worth watching it. Thank you for now. And remember, ride safe.